Hello, and welcome to my Tuesday webinar. Sorry if I was running a minute behind. I'm just currently doing things for the website and really pushing to get that done this week. It was just in the process of fine tuning one thing, so I apologize for being a couple minutes late to this class today. But today, we are going to talk about Rosemary. I figure I teased this with a post about a week ago about an article that was written on it. So I want to talk about what doTERRA has to say on Rosemary. So I'm down to about a week and a half left on it. So fingers crossed, but I'm loving the results. Uh, thank you for all the kind words too with the support with the website. For those that have seen some of the previews going on with it, I appreciate your feedback and hope that you enjoy it. I'm slowly getting the pieces put together on it, so it should be accessible to all of you very soon in completeness. It'll have, anyway, I'll talk about that another time. Today, let's talk about rosemary. Now, rosemary is an oil, I always like to start with kind of a fun fact that in ancient times, rosemary was a favorite to drive away evil spirits. Now, it's got a very gentle smell, and as most of us are familiar with using rosemary in cooking. Now, I'd also like to talk about how you can use the oil in cooking too, that this is safe to ingest. Now, for me personally, I love putting this in like my pasta sauces. But sometimes it can get a little overpowering if you're not real careful and you've got a shaky hand like me and you put an extra drop or two in. So there's actually a trick I've learned. You can pop off this clear top pretty easily, put a toothpick in, dip it in the oil, and then dip that in your sauce and get that oil residue off of the toothpick. It actually winds up being a little bit more milder. and You don't have to wind up seasoning it as much. I'll actually typically do a blend of rosemary and basil oil, like a toothpick of each in my pasta sauces to just add natural flavor to it. It's actually really nice. So I love using rosemary for cooking, but there's also a ton of other benefits that come from rosemary. One that I found was interesting is uh, rosemary can be used to stimulate hair follicles. So while you're washing your hair, be gentle and careful with it. You can apply it gently to the hair and it helps promote your hair follicles. It was a rather interesting thing to run across with that. Now, rosemary too has a lot of things that it can also do. Uh, it can help, like the article said, it can help stimulate the memory. Now, how do you do that with that? Do you have to ingest it? What sort of things do you have to do? Well, with this in particular, um, you can do it a couple of different ways. Now. I'm gonna show you how. Put a drop in the palm of your hand, like that. And then you can apply it to your forehead. Just across it, like that, let it rub in. Rosemary's pretty gentle, it's not gonna cause a lot of skin irritations. Now you can do that to help promote and stimulate the mind a little bit. It also says, for those of you that aren't necessarily too sensitive with smell, you can also apply a little bit under the nose to liven up the senses a little bit. And you just a slight wipe there, careful not to lick up there or anything like that or you're definitely gonna get a strong taste of rosemary. But that gentle smell I can already feel seeping in and it's created a sense of alertness with me right now. And very gentle, one of the more milder smells. Again, for those that have cooked with rosemary, it's just the pure natural substance of it. Uh, what doTERRA does to get it is they distill this from and gather in the water vapors from it to get the oil out of this. So it's a really nice process and really gentle. Um, now, this can help promote uh, your mental health in a lot of ways. I get why they say it could drive away evil spirits because a lot of times the mind can be plagued with a lot of things. The mind can be weighed down. You can be uh, extra moody at times. You can have things that just aren't making you happy. And rosemary can go in and help stimulate and elevate your mood. Um, one great thing to do with rosemary, I did mention basil and cooking with it earlier, but you can also diffuse rosemary with basil. What you want to do is three drops of rosemary to two drops of basil in your diffuser. So I love dragging out my diffuser. You just put it in there. 
set the timer on it and help promote mental alertness. So it's really great with that. Now, it can also be used too for those that suffer from tightness and soreness and things like that. And you're looking for something a little bit more milder that isn't necessarily going to irritate the skin or you don't wanna be, holy cow, this is overpowering on smell. You can apply rosemary to those areas that are achy. It is something that can go in and just kind of help relax a little bit. It's not your high-end stuff like your deep blues or things like that that are really going to go in and help with that. But if you're looking for something that's not going to burn the nostrils, <laughs> rosemary is very gentle to use in that. So, and that is ultimately our highlight on rosemary. Today, rather short class. I apologize for that in large part because I am so focused on the website right now. So I'm really trying to get that going by the end of the week so you all can start participating with that. Again, I will be still doing my Facebook stuff here, but I'm gonna tie that into the website as much as I can. The website is gonna be www.nailtheessentials.com. I've already got pieces of it live right now. I've got the homepage done, the enrollment kit set up. Uh, promos page is gonna go live here in about 10 minutes. I'm this close to being done with it. Um, and then, holy cow, what else? I've been go, go, go on this. Oh, the about me section as to why Susanna and I decided to be wellness advocates. Uh, there'll also be ways to find links to all the webinars very easily. Uh, it'll be a spot for the products and then common terminology and things like that and common questions that people will have. So this website's gonna be there as an informational guide, but also as a way to help those that are wanting to enroll to figure out what are the benefits of signing up as either wholesale or as an advocate, or do you just wanna to stick to retail? And I will always include like the oils of the day and things like that that we've been doing here on the Facebook page. This won't change with that. So today, I wanna to thank you for the brief class on Rosemary, but, I hope you try using it specifically in cooking. Give it a shot. Try it out compared to dumping a lot of seasoning on it. Go with that natural taste. Don't be afraid to grab a toothpick and blend it in with some of your favorite, especially your favorite Italian dishes. It is so, so good. Uh, one of these classes for one of my Friday classes, we will talk about and demonstrate cooking with doTERRA oils. Uh, my wife, Suzanne, and I have done it with a few dishes as you've seen from some of my posts with the lunch that she did with blending some of the oils naturally into the meal, really adds a nice touch to it. So thank you for stopping by today. Again, I'm sorry this was a little bit shorter, but really pushing on that website. So my Friday's class though, be prepared. We are gonna talk about overcoming the winter cold and what you can do to stay safe in it and to enjoy it while We'll talk about a few products that doTERRA has that can help alleviate some of the pains and ultimately the uh, doom and gloom of the cold season. So thank you so much for stopping by today, and I look forward to seeing you on Friday. Thank you.